dogs do not like Dogs like it when you scratch their belly. Dogs drool when they sleep. Dogs have four legs. Dogs like to chase cars. Dogs do a lot of things. The end. On the moon, meet the author and illustrator, Cassandra. First, we were on the moon with my friend. Then we found more friends. Next, we made a big parade. <coughs> then we went to another planet called Neptune. Neptune was real cool. Then we went again to another planet called the Invisible Planet. Then we were stuck on Invisible Planet. Then I found a friend that could help us. And then I went back to Earth to drop off my friend. But I went back into space. Then I went to Mars and explored all over Mars. But the adventure wasn't over. I went to Mercury to explore. But I went back to the moon and I found aliens. And they were nice. Then they went to their ship, and I went to the sun. And says, then I went back to Earth. The end. Hi, Vanessa. And I'd like to share her story. One more unicorn. One more unicorn. There was one more unicorn named Shiny. She loved adventures. One day, she found another unicorn named Happy in the Escondido Falls while she was hiking. They played together under the falls, jumping in the water, playing hide and seek between the rocks, and saw dragonflies. They rolled in the grass and played all day long. At night, they slept under the, under the trees and watched the moon and stars together. Sleeping, they dreamed of flying fishies and flying with many unicorn friends. Finally, shiny and happy found a place to live, happily playing between purple and pink flowers. The end. These are children who submitted stories without being part of a class. They got excited and wrote their own story without their teachers you know, telling them they had to do that. Name on it.
Joma. independent stories. They took the initiative and wrote a story all on their own. I think they should have a, a, a round of applause. Why don't you story nice and loud and I'll stand here and just be proud of you, okay? So this story is called The Last Charity. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Kyrie. One day, Kyra decided to plant a cherry tree. Her sister gave the seed to her. She was named Kinara. Kinara wanted her sister happy, so she woke up her sister. Kinara told everything to Kyra about the cherry tree. Kyra said, this tree, tree is the last one because people like this kind of wood because it's smooth for tables. Kyra said, Mom does not care about cherry trees. Chocolate bar. His idea was to put him in the cooler. 
When Super Pickle saw Chocolate Bar, he was surprised. His whole body melted into his wrapper, except for his lips. When Chocolate Bar saw Super Pickle, he said, Thank you. <laughs> Super Pickle Hero. to the market. I can help my mommy shop. I like to go visit my cousins. We can go swimming. I like to go to San Jacinto. I can visit my grandparents. I can stay home. I can have a tea party. And what my one of my favorite pages was the About the Author page, where she talks about her bio. And just to give you a little information, Victoria E. Hernandez is six years old and is in kindergarten. She currently lives in Los Angeles, California. Her hobbies include reading, writing, and drawing. Victoria loves to dance, sing, and do gymnastics. Of course, Victoria loves to be out and about. And there she is working on her own. Always leave them wanting more, but where do you like to go? <laughs> yeah. 